when the World Wide Web was made publicly available in 1991. Dr. Sing Kong Yuan of Topio Vets initiated his Be Kind to Pets project to share his knowledge with the community. I'm making a video on corporate social responsibility for Topio Vets. Now, in my opinion, the corporate social responsibility for Topio Vets will be to educate pet owners and veterinary students to make them better informed and to be kind to pets. Of course, there are other definitions of corporate social responsibility, but uh, the main, main focus is on this, uh, be kind to pets, uh, using narratives or videos of real, real life cases to uh, to make veterinary medicine and surgery alive to veterinary students and pet owners. So this video will will will, will, will uh, deal on will focus on what is being done in this uh, project. Okay, we'll stop here. The Be Kind to Pets project focuses on giving back to the community. It involves a blog, corporate website and YouTube videos. The blog. Dr. Singh wrote his first blog post in 2005. It was through hard work and experimentation on the blog that he managed to progress. Corporate website. Topio Vet's webpage had humble beginnings sharing its first website with Dr. Singh Kong Yuan's real estate website to save costs. Since then, the corporate website has changed. With the post adding more images, and the website being redesigned, To its present state with a better layout and better images hosted on a new website completely devoted to Topio Vets. YouTube videos. The present generation is made out of visual learners, hence to cater to their needs, Dr. Singh started a YouTube video collection two years ago. He researches on videography and purchased different equipment. He is currently using a Canon EOS 70D. Dr. Singh has videos of cases he encountered. Some videos are in the Myanmese language. For example, this case seems like a carnasal tooth abscess to most vets. Looks like a carnasal tooth abscess. And we will check later inside the. The diagnosis of Mala abscess. Dr. Singh has treated several similar cases. As you can see, the location of the lump is below the eye and above the upper fourth premolar. In case 5, the abscess had ruptured, revealing the cheekbone. In case 8, the owner delayed treatment, allowing the rotting of the cheek muscles. In case 10, the family vet just prescribed some antibiotics. For However, Dr. Singh's palpation showed that the lump was soft. With a swelling. How long was it? The swelling? About seven months. Seven months ago. Uh, seven months duration. Uh. Now just feel it. To see whether it is carnated tooth or not. But it is, well, of course, it's a tumor. And this one is abscess. Uh, from the tooth. Uh. Okay. Dr. Singh then went for the surgery and he was met with a surprise. It might be still be solid. That's why I suspect it's still solid now. Maybe the other one. It might be a tumor for all we know. So this is a cyst. This is a cyst. See, this is cyst, like that. There is cyst. The lump is a cluster of cystic cells. 
This example highlights that veterinary medicine is full of surprises. From the visual appearance, the lamb looked like a canisal tooth abscess. There were also many similar cases. But upon detailed examination under anesthesia, this turned out to be a facial cyst, which is a rare occurrence. Dr. Singh believes that only videos can demonstrate such effective teaching as compared to text and still images. After, after writing out the case, I will refer to, to the reference books to find out whether I can do better in my next case or what, I, what have I done uh, wrong in, in the previous case. So in this way, by writing and recording or making videos, Young vets who do this too, as uh, every case is different, and uh, if you don't record or write down, you will not uh, be able to be better or you find skill in your profession. That applies to every profession, including lawyers, 